All right, STMA High School, we are back for another Armor Talk. We are joined today by Mr. Steve Davis. He is the Associate Vice President of Engagement at the University of Minnesota. Steve, I want to thank you for being with us today. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for having me. I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri. Came to Minnesota on a football scholarship to play for the University of Minnesota. Midwest born kid, so I've just stayed in the Midwest and been here for about almost 10 years now. So, Currently, I am the uh, Associate Vice President of Engagement with the University of Minnesota Alumni Association. Uh, and really what led me to come to uh, the Alumni Association was really my passion for helping people. Uh, realizing that uh, alumni are the full body of the people that you're connected with once you go to an institution. We work day in and day out to uh, figure out the best ways of engaging with alumni in different spaces and places where they're at. Uh, we do a lot in the regards of helping to enhance the lives of our alumni, and we really try to make sure that they feel proud of being an alumni in the University of Minnesota and knowing that they have this vast resource of people that can really help them along the way. So, I can't go without saying, you know, my, my mother or father, you know, helped me to instill a, a, a sense of confidence uh, to go out and accomplish anything that I set my mind out to. Uh, and that has really helped me to build myself into the leader that I am today. Uh, the, the person that I have looked up to the most throughout my entire life is Martin Luther King Jr. Simply because uh, we have we, sh we share the same birthday, um, and I wanted to emulate his style and his leadership when going out there and being someone who is very empathetic to others, uh, wanting to you know help make make the world better, uh, wanting to do the service and be out there with the people so that they understand that he's not just. You know, talking, he's actually working with others. Uh, and that has really driven me to be the person who I am today. Um, just, you know, using my vote of confidence to know that I can do things that set my mind out to, but really figuring out how to galvanize people and work with others to help them see what the bigger, bigger picture is and how we can work together to kind of make a change. You know, especially in, in today's world, I feel like servant leadership is very vital because leaders come in very different shapes and forms, but great leaders are able to be good listeners. They're able to work with others and get the best out of others. A great leader is one that is humble enough to know that they don't have all the answers. They're willing to learn, they're willing to grow, they're willing to be critiqued in this world where we have to be a little bit more inclusive uh, and thinking about how we approach things, how, how the different spaces of where we work um, are open and inclusive for others. You know, having someone who is a servant leader, uh, I think is, is a very important trait to have uh, to kind of get the best out of everybody else in the group and give everybody a fair share of opportunity to kind of share their leadership qualities and step up and uh, feel like they're valued uh, within the equation of what you're doing with that project. Uh, T.I. Punta Cana. Uh, my favorite food would be honey barbecue chicken wings. From where? I make my own. Okay, I'm glad you didn't say Applebee's because my wife would say Applebee's and I want to throw up every time she says it. Oh, I love Applebee's, though. Don't get me wrong. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, as we close today, Mr. Steve Davis, I want to thank you for your time. If you could do this for me, could you say, armor up, STMA? Armor up, STMA.